In this video, we will look at how to load data from a file into a MySQL table. So here we're using the form store database. We have a customer table. And let's see what is in the customer table. Currently, the customer table is empty. OK, so we have some data in a CSV file. Here is a CSV file. And this file has been saved in two locations. We have it saved on this um, memory card on the e-drive and I also have it saved here in the uploads folder in my SQL um, server 8.0 folder. I'm going to demonstrate how we may go about loading the data from both locations. All right so first of all let's attempt to load the data from the e-drive. So here's the basic syntax load data into file and present the part as, along with the file name into the table I want to load data into. We indicate that the fields are separated by a comma, the lines are terminated by a new line, and we are ignoring line one. That's the line with the headings, as you can see here. All right. So let's see if this will work. Now, a lot of persons, when we attempt to load, this error normally pop up. All right, so we are told here that the server is running with secure file privilege option. So this cannot be done. All right, so we have a work around this. So first thing, we are going to open the services on your machine. So we're gonna go to services and we're just gonna open the services up. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna terminate the MySQL server. So we're gonna look for MySQL. And we're going to have to stop the server. And what we're going to do next is to modify its configuration. So we're going to just right click on my SQL 8 and just click stop. And that will terminate the server for you. All right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to head over to the configuration file for my SQL. All right. So what we're going to do now, we're going to just go to Program Files. So we're going to go to Windows, and we're going to go here to Program Data. All right. So if you're on Windows, go to the C drive and head over to Program Data. Now, Program Data is a hidden file, as you can see here. So if you're unable to see um, Program Data, just click on View and check Hidden Files, all right, or Hidden Items, and that will allow you to see the program data. Once there, just open up program data and we're going to look for MySQL. Just scroll down and open MySQL and open the version file that's in my case, MySQL server 8.0. Open that. And the file I'm interested in is the my.ini. So click on it. I'm going to edit mine using Notepad++, you might be asked to open it using the admin privilege. So just click on edit with Notepad or Notepad++. All right. Once that is up, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to search for this file here. That's secure file privilege. So search for this. Secure file privilege, all right? So you can just do a search if you're not seeing it. And what we're gonna have to do is we are gonna have to set this file or this variable to blank. So I'm gonna set it to null. So we're gonna remove what is here and just have it equal to an empty string, all right? And what we're gonna do next is just, um, just save, all right? Good. So once you have done that, the next thing to do is to just head back over to services. And what we're going to do next is we're going to restart the MySQL. So just right click on MySQL and start service. And then we're going to head back to Workbench or to your um, command prompt, if you're using the command prompt. 
just head back over. And now let's see we if we can actually use this. So first of all, let me select the database. I'm going to have to put in back my password. All right. All right, so now that I've entered my password, again, let's check the table to see if there's anything there. There's nothing in the table. All right, so I'm going to use this option first to load from the E drive. And there it is, no error. Um, if we should check the content of the customer file, customer till, there we have the information. All right, so I'm going to just delete it. Delete what is there. I'm going to do the same process again from a different location. So this time I have the file saved in um, the upload folder for my SQL. All right, just the part is different. And as, as you can see, and if we run this, it works. So that's it. Thanks for viewing. And um, just to show that it works. So there it is. All right, so follow those steps and I hope that helps.